What is going on, brothers? It's time to tell you the name. Got another video for you. It's written title, Snake in the Grass, Part 5. Here goes. So, you would think that with these legal snares and traps and financial pitfalls out here, one trap in particular, the newest one being prenatal child support, you'd think that these dating roaches, PUA clowns, and dom game monkeys would actually stop trying to steer young men into failure. You would think they'd st stop doing that. But they're not going to stop because the whole reason why they're running this con game is to empty the pockets of these young men and steer them to failure. You see, these con artists, along with the boomer simps, they want the females to win. Mm-hmm. They want them to win. And some of them are doing this because of their own sick amusement. Others are doing it because if they can steer young men into failure, they can sleep easy at night and not feel like they're a failure themselves. Yes, I'm well aware that there are a lot of old boomer simps who deliberately steer young men into failure because they themselves know that they ain't worth shit. You see, there have been brothers out there who call me an OG. And I'm flattered, but I'm way too young to be an OG. I'm 34 years old. But apparently, I'm an OG because I'm not for sale. I'm an OG because... I tell it like it is. I'm an OG because for almost a decade, I've been steering young men and men in general away from legal snares and traps and away from all these financial pitfalls. The biggest financial pitfall being having kids out of wedlock and being dropped in a meat grinder because you had to pay child support. That is what I've been steering young men away from. But notice how none of these dom game monkeys, none of these POA clowns, none of these con artists are doing that. They're not doing that because they're here for their wallet. They're here to steer young men into failure. Mm-hmm. No different than a false prophet who will preach to a congregation. The congregation being dumb sheep, they'll believe the false prophet not knowing that the false prophet is only there to further their affliction. That's what he's there for. They mean to hurt you on purpose. I mean, when are they going to wake up? When are they going to wake up? I mean, the dating game and the game of whoremongering, you know, just chasing tail, that shit is dead. It's finished. The legal snares and traps are going to keep coming. The latest one being prenatal child support, but if you're still trying to steer these young men into failure, you know, coach them into how to lie to women to get laid... You're going to get what you deserve according to your work. Mm-hmm. You're going to get exactly what you deserve according to your work. Which means that the next fool, the next poor bastard who has fallen victim to that prenatal child support just might be you con artists, you PUA clowns, you dating coach grifters, and all you dumb game monkeys. Those Republicans put that legal snares and traps, they put them there to get rid of your ass. To bleed you dry. They put that there for you. You 
You see, I know that young men are listening to this channel. I know they're watching these videos. I know that because I've seen it in my analytics. And I say more power to them. You see, if you were genuine, if you were sincere, you would have actually came flat, flat out and actually told these young men that the best way or the best thing for them to do in their youth is to focus on skills and abilities. To chase success, not tell. But these dumb game monkeys, these PUA clowns, these dating coach, these dating coach grifters, they didn't do that. And their twisted little mind, if these young men aren't getting laid, that's because they haven't learned game. What if these young men are just trying to get out of the situation they're in? What if they're trying to better their life? Why the fuck do you have to steer them into failure? Why do you, why do they need to chase tail if they're trying to better their life? You see, I would notice from experience because when I was in my late teens, one of these fucking minstrels tried to steer me into failure. He tried to tell me I need game, to tell me I need to get laid. He even tried to convince me to go to a club and get in the club with fake ID. And despite his best efforts, the minstrel failed. You wanna know why he failed? He failed because I left his ass. I tuned him out. That's why he failed. So I'm telling you brothers, what if you saw your brothers from ICU to hear you young men, tune these con artists out. They're here to further your affliction. They're here to bleed your pockets. They're here to steer you into failure. They're here to hurt you on purpose. And while you're at it, tune out these old boomer simps. They're here to do the same thing. Because they have an evil eye towards the youth. You see, they themselves ain't, ain't worth shit. But they have to steer you into failure because they can't steer you. If they don't steer you into failure, they'll feel like the failure. What the hell with them? Their time came when it went. Focus on skills and abilities. Keep your head on the swivel and point out illegal snares and traps and financial pitfalls in front of these young men. Keep doing it. I've been doing it for almost a decade. I'm still going strong. That's my advice to you, brothers. Mm-hmm. Keep doing what you're doing. This is Lionel McTail. So I got for you. Like the video, like share in the commentary, feel free to subscribe. If you're enjoying it, visit my channel, you find tip jar on the upper right hand side of the screen. This is G Plus Icon. Alright, fam. Alright, brethren, you know it's real, you know it's in go away, live away, S Y S P M. As for these ditch pigs, as for these dumb game monkeys, as for these con artists who call themselves dating coaches and POAs, give them nothing. This is Mick PSA. Welcome to tight. See you soon.